Hello Green Bee Gardeners and welcome to this week's project. This week we happen to have something for those of you who might live in the city or live in an apartment and not have a way um, to easily garden. But as long as you have a window and some water, you can get started. So this week's garden project happens to be a product that I was pretty curious about online. So I thought we'd try it on Green Bee Gardener and see how it turned out. It's the Organic Mini Mushroom Farm by Back to Roots. Now they say that everything you need to grow three pounds of organic oyster mushrooms happens to be in this box. So I thought we'd go ahead and try it with my good friend Clover here. He's already giving it two big green thumbs up and see how it turned out. In about a week's time, we'll check back and see if we're actually growing some mushrooms. So for those of you who are interested or who might like to try this along with us, don't forget that you can find the link to the Organic Mini Mushroom Farm right underneath our video here on YouTube at Green Bee Gardener on YouTube. You can also find it on our website, greenbeegardener.com and on our Facebook page, Green Bee Gardener. So here is the Organic Mini Mushroom Farm. It's in a nice little box and you'll see right here that this is the actual pack that includes the mushrooms and the seed mix. Now the instructions on the side of the box say that the very first thing you do is remove the back of the box and it happens to have a really nice recipe for oyster mushroom tacos. So we'll save that for later. The next thing it says to do is to score this plastic portion with a plus sign. So go ahead and do that. If you have little gardeners, be sure to help them with this part of the process. It does require a knife. So we're gonna go ahead and just take this right here. And cut a plus sign. Just like it says in the directions. Okay. Now the next step, after I put the cover back on the knife, safety first, Green Bee Gardeners, is we're to take this block, mushroom starting block, out of the box. So let's go ahead and do that. There happens to be a coupon, so we might use that in one of our upcoming episodes of Green Bee Gardener. And the next thing that we're supposed to do is soak this block in water for, it says up to eight hours. So you can see, it's actually pretty neat. You can see the mushroom starting mix and some of the mushroom, I should say spores in there. So we're going to put this in a bowl and soak it in water for up to eight hours. This is going to help it soak up all the moisture it needs to grow those lovely mushrooms. So through the wonders of technology, <laughs> um, in about eight hours, we'll put this back in the box and the directions stay to set box near a window, but not directly in the sun and to keep it moist um, with two to three teaspoons of water per day. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to spray it daily um, with a spray bottle. And it says that in approximately one week, we will see baby mushrooms sprout right out of this window and this box. So stay tuned, Green Bee Gardeners. And a week from now, we'll update you on the Back to Roots Organic Mini Mushroom Farm. Just because you might live in the city or you might currently be in an apartment, don't worry, you can still get practice gardening. The organic mini mushroom farm is a great way to get started. I don't know about you, Clover, but I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. Stay tuned, check back in with us next week, and we'll see if we're growing mushrooms. Plant some seeds and save some bees, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.